okay copy menu item hit enter and for the second one I will go ahead and change the variable name so right click and rename it and I will call it the paste menu item all right so I created the two menu items under the edit menu so basically right now my application looks like this uh, this is by the way the preview uh, design so basically I can take a look at my uh, form and my application how it looks like but of course uh, this is not a, uh, a running application so I'm not really running I'm actually just looking at it so if there's any kind of code available which there is remember we have the exit working we had the about working it's not at this point is just a preview so if I want it to work I actually have to run my project and um, this would actually activate uh, uh, the components and the programming will be accessible okay um, right now what I need to do I need to add a toolbar so I will go ahead and do that a toolbar is a container because uh, on it I have a bunch of icons or tools that usually uh, give you access to common commands so I will go ahead and uh, add a toolbar take a look at this area right above my um, form at the top we see that we can get some help uh, this is for example it's saying right now align with the left side of another component align with the top side of another component and that's exactly what I want to do and right now I will go ahead and expand it all the way I get already uh, uh, some help saying snap at the preferred distance or simply align with the right side of another component which is what I want to do by the way we see this little X right here and let's say you don't have this it is closed we can actually um, uh, view it so what I want to do is to view that I will go to the tools menu choose the options command and from there go to the miscellaneous and what I want to do in the miscellaneous say uh, let's take a look at the GUI builder and over here I want to see the assistant so I will say show assistant okay again the assistant is available this is very helpful when, when you're doing your design so again nice features it tells you uh, things about aligning and snapping and so on okay so I have my toolbar okay what I want to do is to add some uh, tools on it usually these are uh, clickable icons so basically what I want to do is to add I will minimize this and this I want to add a control which is really a button so I'll go ahead and add this button as of now it's just a button that has a name um, what I want to do is to change the properties of this button by adding an icon for it and just get rid of the text after I do that so it is selected we see the orange border go ahead to the properties pane and go to the icon and what I want to do right now is to select an icon it will ask you are you getting the image from somewhere within the project if that's the case then select it but no I don't have that image uh, or you're getting an external image well I can do that but instead I want to import the image into my project take a look usually these are um, the kind of resources that you can use in your project so I'll go ahead and import them and put them in the resources folder you should have explored the project uh, directory structure as instructed in the previous exercise so right now what I want to do is to go to my documents my pictures and get this in new okay it's a new dot GIF and next I want to add it to the resources folder 
say finish right now the image is within the project and it's called new.gif go ahead and say ok you see that the image is there but I have annoying text here that I will get rid of and voila I have this uh, icon available in the toolbar, toolbar which is really a clickable button a command button and what I want to do take a look under my main panel I have a toolbar and in this toolbar I have a button so I will uh, rename the button and I will call it the new button okay right now I will repeat the same and I will add a another button right here and again I will go and add an icon for it I will import to project I will import the uh, open and I will put it in the resources also and say finish go ahead is this is a preview by the way okay get rid of this enter and just rename it and call it the open button and finally I will repeat the same and add one last button and this will be the save icon so I will import save this is the save icon you say ok get rid of the text rename it and call it my save button okay all right so I have my toolbar now this is just a preview clickable of course no programming yet so I will close this okay uh, the next uh, item or the next thing I will do is to go ahead and add some controls uh, on my form or on my main panel again take a look at the inspector window and this is really where you can see the relationship between containers and their components so always if in doubt take a look here and make sure that you have your controls in the right place what I want to do again in my main panel I want to go ahead and add a few controls I want to add a button it will ask you what you want to do take a look again at the assistant on top what I want to do is to snap at the preferred distance from the left and the preferred distance from top okay I will do add also a text field you get also some help so basically I want to resize this and get rid of what's inside and I will repeat that add another button add another text field resize it but a different size and let's take a look at the things that we can do for now uh, what I want to do right now I want to highlight them so I will click and drag and take a look at the borders it is the orange borders that means they're highlighted and what I want to do is to right click and say duplicate this so it will duplicate them okay right now I will do some work with the sizing and the alignment okay so I will go ahead and um, write something here on the first button I will say ABC take a look at the size the second one I will say A and here the second two buttons uh, the last two buttons I will leave them as they are uh, 